सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल नॉलेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर फॉर लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड स्मार्टफोन वीडियो वेलकम टू माय पिक्सेल 3XL अपडेट वीडियो after one week i've been using this intensively to kind of see what it's all about to help you understand what the pixel 3 xl is all about and i'm going to share with you my onyx experience with this phone after a full week of pretty heavy use and camera use and everything about it and quite a few thoughts i had initially have changed about this phone so let's get into them right now given a quick update on the build quality i really like this etched glass material on the back it feels a lot more premium then last year, the sides are more grippy and I like this orange home button on the not pink version. The camera bump is not that thick off the surface, so that's a nice touch and the fingerprint placement is pretty on point. Now, the Pixel 2 XL of last year did not feel quite as premium as the Pixel 3 XL. So they did the job of making it feel more premium and so I'm happy with the updates when it comes to the build quality. Keep a case on it, you won't get that scratching problem most people are talking about. Okay, so looks and design after one week. I'm actually kind of over this notch even though it's pretty big. It's not as bad in person and you can hide it, but still, I mean, I'd rather not be there but it's there, so you gotta get used to that if you're gonna get this device. The chin, I'm not really liking this chin. I wish Google would move the speaker down to the bottom, bring the screen down a little bit further. That would be nice. We don't really need it on the front. Speakers have been proven to be just as loud on the bottom. Overall, it's a utilitarian look and feel, and I think it's more about software than the look. So not overly impressed with the looks and the design, but I'm not super upset with it either. It gets the job done. Okay, so my experience with the display so far has been pretty good. The text is super sharp on the Google Pixel 3 XL at 1440p resolution, sharper than a lot of other phones that you're gonna see right out of the box. Watching videos on this phone wasn't that bad for the display. Pitching in, you will see the notch right there, but if you turn it off, it will hide that and you'll be able to watch it without seeing that notch. I really liked how wide this display was. It kind of reminded me of 16 by nine because it's so flat and wide here on the Pixel 3 XL. So you can see I've hid the notch and now the notch is totally out of the way of your use. Overall, the display didn't get as bright as I would like and there still is some blue tint shifting on here, but it's nowhere near as bad as last year. This is a Samsung produced panel and I think you're gonna really like the display. Big improvements here for the Pixel 3 XL after one week. After one week with the Pixel 3 XL with the software, it's kinda like the Pixel 2 XL. It's clean Android 9 Pie. You do have the new gesture system and you could swipe up to get into your app drawer right here. A lot cleaner than like a Samsung phone, an LG phone, Huawei phones. This phone is super clean Google software. However, I don't like having to swipe all the way over to clear all. And you do miss some features that those skins do offer you like easier split screen, more options to multitask and stuff like that. However, this is pretty clean and buttery smooth, but is the performance the same? We'll talk about that in just a second. Okay, so in terms of performance, the phone is very fast, but it does have a little bit of a choke up when it comes to multitasking. Sometimes things just won't load they'll just reload like you just seen right there and it starts to choke up after like three apps so i think this is like a software update away from being fixed kind of unacceptable for this price point so overall i'm kind of 50 50 on the performance i love how fast it is and buttery smooth it is but at the same time i don't like how it's choking up a little bit i'm multitasking and that kind of makes it look weaker than some other phones okay so let's talk about battery life i've been easily able to get through a day with this phone even when it's off the charger and over here you can see Pixel stand has been amazing. This thing fast charges the phone and it's just kind of cool to use. It's really well designed for the Pixel 3 XL, but you're gonna pay about 80 bucks to get that, so keep that in mind. This phone charges through USB-C, so it's pretty quick. And I just found overall not to be too disappointed with the battery life. Now the adaptive battery mode, I haven't even used it because I don't feel like it makes a difference, but overall pretty good battery life in my experience after one week. Quickly discussing the camera after one week, I've been blown away with this camera. The HDR computational photography on here is just incredible. It shoots very fast, but sometimes with the HDR enhanced, you have to wait just a second video right here more i don't like that it doesn't do 4k 60 video but if you're in a stills photography this thing is amazing so go ahead and check out my samples right now and let me know your thoughts on the pixel 3 xl i just shot all of these shots just yesterday so let me know your thoughts enjoy
Okay, so with the Pixel 3 XL, when it comes to the audio quality, I know somebody's going to ask about that audio quality when you're shooting a video, how the mic sounds and stuff. It kind of sounds a little distorted at the highest volumes. Yes, I'm getting that to you for my Pixel 3 XL, so I think we need an update there. However, the audio quality itself from the phone is pretty loud and enjoyable. I don't think it sounds as clear as some other phones, so I wish it would sound a little bit clear. At the highest volumes, it doesn't sound amazing, but it's still pretty loud and it fires right at you. The Pixel Buds have been pretty cool to use. They're not bad. They work well, and I haven't any issues with callers saying they couldn't hear me or anything like that. So overall, the audio is kind of iffy. I think we need an update when it comes to audio. But after one week, I haven't been like, you know, super mad at the phone. I just wish that out of the box, the audio was a little bit better, but I think we're gonna see some updates with that from Google soon. In terms of calling and connectivity, the Pixel 3 XL has been a very good phone for a phone call. I haven't had any issues. It sounded actually much better than last year's. I had terrible call experience on Pixel 2 XL. This one takes it up. So Pixel 2 XL, terrible phone call quality for me on that one. This one though is definitely a thumbs up and I haven't had any drops on the signal as well. So strong signal on here. So overall, I'm very happy with the connectivity and the calling experience for my Pixel 3 XL after one week. Okay, so there've been some reported bugs with the Pixel 3 XL where the notch is coming over here and I'm not gonna say they're not true because I haven't experienced them, but that doesn't mean that they're invalid. Um, a lot of bugs and report issues on this phone. A lot of people are having bad experiences so far with this phone but is it really that bad and in my experience so far i haven't really experienced money many of any of those bugs except for the audio one i definitely have experienced so i haven't had a super buggy experience but not everybody can say the same okay so my final conclusion pixel 3 xl after one week it has been a mixed bag there's some issues here and there the bugs i'm having are not as prevalent as the ones you're seeing all over the negative press but this phone right here is definitely going to be a great option for people who want great photography from a phone. They don't want to buy a point and shoot. They want a premium build over those more cheaper feeling Pixel 2s of last year's. And they really do want a better improved call experience over last year's phone and a nicer screen. And that notch can be hidden if you don't feel that design. Some people are still not going to like this because of the chin. And a lot of people don't even like the Pixel design, but a lot of people don't like other designs either. So, you know, design is subjective how a phone looks is really your own personal opinion how you feel about something doesn't mean the other person doesn't like it and another person won't like it, it just means you don't like it overall a lot of the things that are being said about this phone i'm not going to say don't exist because i think some of them do exist however i do think that it's unacceptable to release a phone with that many issues so the pixel 3 xl doesn't get a pass from me with those issues but i think that its camera is so damn good that it kind of, you know, makes me forgive it in some areas. I'm just waiting for a few updates on the Pixel 3 XL, and that's my experience after one week. So if you're considering buying one, you might want to wait until it gets a few updates before you pick one up. If you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing.